Hello guys, KFP Mania here, bringing you a commentary on the map Nuketown 2025 on headquarters using the Remington R870 MCS. And as you guys can see, I didn't get to record the whole gameplay. I had to go into theater to get it. And I didn't even start the game. It didn't even start recording until I already had a Merciless, so I was already 10 and 0. That means that I only get 87 kills that are recorded but as you guys can see I just keep getting my s streaks over and over again with their UAV hunter killer care package I can just keep killing them and it's really awesome and it's hilarious how bad these players are and it was and I was so close to a hundred plus I, if I could have gotten it it would have been awesome Okay, guys, but what I wanted to talk about for my commentary today is why Call of Duty will always be better than Battlefield. Okay, as you know, they're both first-person shooter games, and Battlefield 4, it looks like it's going to have insane graphics. It's going to return the destructibility of, battle of Battlefield, um, Bad Company 2, and it should... It should be a great game. Looks like a great game. But Call of Duty Ghost has a dog. No I'm kidding. But Call of Duty Ghost does look like it'll have some pretty good multiplayer. And some pretty good. It'll just have some pretty good gameplay. I think they could have done more than just add a dog to hype up the multiplayer, though. Except it, I do think it's cool though that your brother is also playing with you, and in the campaign, and it'll just seems like it'll just be a really emotional campaign and everything. And why Call of Duty will always be better than Battlefield? This is why. Call of Duty is a fun, rushing game that that is. Okay, if you eliminated the target finder, shock charges, stuns, MMS, dual band, all that crap, then Call of Duty would be the best game ever. Honestly. While Battlefield, it's just a pretty good game with great vehicles, and you can do a lot of other things. But I just don't like the huge maps where it takes forever to find anyone. Where they're all at the corner of one map. It's just impossible to find someone. I kind of think that's ridiculous. And that they need to make not smaller maps. But they should have 64 player matches like PC has. That'd be great. Because I guess the sniping in Battlefield is really realistic. Which is pretty cool. And, as you can see, Call of Duty has been selling way better than Battlefield. Even though Battlefield 3 has been out since 2011, I still think Call of Duty Black Ops 2 outsold it. I could be wrong about that, I'm not sure, but... Um, but Call of Duty Black Ops 2 also sold less than MW3. And I think that's just because... MW3 left a bad taste in everyone's mouth and they didn't really think that they should play that game anymore. And what really surprised me about this gameplay also that I'm using is that I got all these kills without the laser sight. The laser sight improves your accuracy greatly, so that really surprised me and I just keep killing them. I think if I had the laser sight though, I think I could have gotten 100 plus, which I definitely would have been really excited for and uploaded and also guys I'm also I'm having trouble with my capture card I can't really get it to work if anyone has any tips for so it's just like displaying that it's plug everything's plugged in right but it's not displaying the game on the computer if anyone has knows what to do about that leave it in the comment section I'm using the Sabrent VDGBR or something like that 
and enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and goodbye, guys.